Hi everyone. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be starting on another plus size uh, guide for riders video and this one is going to be my third one in my Walt Disney World series. This one is going to be focusing on Epcot in Walt Disney World in Florida. Um, so just to give you some stats about me, I am five foot six inches tall. I weigh 300 pounds and I carry most of my weight in my stomach and hips with some being carried in my thighs. I have wide hips, but I don't really have a big butt and I don't have a big chest area either. Um, so you can use those stats comparing to you because I'm going to be using those stats of how I fit in the rides at Epcot um, <clears throat> just so you can hopefully help guide whether you think you're fit or not in the rides at Epcot and I'll also be talking uh, accessibility information at Epcot. Um, I'm going to be talking about every single ride at Epcot and I'm going to go through like the different areas at Epcot and talking about the rides in the areas. Um, and I've also done Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom and you can find them <clears throat> on my page. And if you like this video, definitely you know, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me. That would be wonderful. Leave a comment below. If you do have any questions that I don't cover during the video, uh, but I'm definitely gonna try to go cover every single ride with detail at Epcot and so hopefully this can help you determine whether you think you will fit or not on the rides but Disney is very accommodating the plus size riders and most of the rides nobody should have an issue with at all so that's really great because it's a really great part to go if you are a plus size rider um, so let's just go ahead and get into the video now Start out in the future world section of Epcot, which is where um, a lot of the rides are in Epcot. Um, this is Journey into Imagination with Figment. Um, this platform right here, the cars are constantly moving when you blow, they're very slow moving. Um, there is a small step up to get into the car, and the cars themselves are bench seating, don't have seat belts or anything. Um, when she, there's a, the door's a little bit narrow, then the back it's a little wider, um, but you can just slide in sideways and it makes it a lot easier to get into. Um, you could easily set two adults side by side on the front or the back. Um, and it's there, you have plenty of room, it's just bench seating is what it is on the ride, and it's a slow moving ride. Um, and for guests with accessibility concerns, you may remain in your wheelchair or ECV during the ride as there is a wheelchair accessible car available. And then Epcot's future world is going to be living with the land and it is a slow moving boat ride with bench style seating as shown here in the picture. Um, Probably I say four people comfortably, three to four per row. Um, very easy to actually get in and out of this. Um, I feel like the bench seating is just a tad bit low, but it's um, nothing too hard to get in and out of. Um, and you'll have plenty of room. And if you're tall, there's going to be a lot of leg room too. And if you do sit in the front, I feel like there's a little bit more leg room and in the back. As far as accessibility goes, you must transfer into a wheelchair to ride the ride. Um, so not an ECV, but you have to be in a wheelchair to ride. Um, but this is very accessible for anyone of any size. You're going to have plenty of room. Um, no issues whatsoever. Next, this is Mission Space, also located in Future World area of Epcot. There's two different sides, the green side and the orange side. Um, the orange side's a lot more intense than the green side. Uh, just letting you know. 
And if you're kind of claustrophobic, I don't recommend you ride this ride because you're in like a pod type vehicle with four people. And um, well, I don't think us bigger people are really going to have much of an issue fitting. It just kind of feels a little tight. Um, there is a restraint that goes over your head, but the ride is very accommodating. Um, I found the seats to be a little smushed, but nothing unbearable. Um, but if you are like super tall, like the screen, you may not be able to see it all entirely. I mean, I think you'll still have enjoyment out of the ride. Um, and you must act, transfer from a wheelchair or ECV to ride this ride. This is the seas with Nemo and friends. Um, you ride in these cute little clamshell vehicles. Um, the vehicle, there's a small step up to get into the vehicle. And a bench style seating. They could easily fit two plus size adults side by side. Um, it's very roomy. You're not going to have an issue with fit on this ride. And there is a moving uh, walkway when you're loading and it does not stop. So be mindful of that, and uh, if you have accessibility concerns, you must transfer into a wheelchair to ride the ride, so no ECVs can directly go on the ride. Uh, but this ride should definitely accommodate anybody of any size. Here's a ride a lot of you probably have been waiting to hear about, also located in the Epcot Future World. This is Soarin' Around the World. A lot of people just refer to it as Soarin'. Um, these seats here are what you'd be sitting in. My tip for you is to pull the belt all the way out. I'm all standing or crouching a little bit, then buckle the belt, then sit down and adjust it. Or you could uh, sit on the edge of your seat to buckle the belt and then adjust it afterwards. That's perfectly fine too. These belts are plenty long enough to do that. Um, as far as seat width, um, I thought they were pretty wide, um, but there are these metal uh, bars in between. So if you do have really large hips or really large thighs, they may be uncomfortable. They didn't bother me at all. Um, and if you feel like you don't want to be squished in between two people or feel like, you know, say you may spill over into another seat. You can always request the end seat just to get that little bit of extra room or feeling like you can't go out in the aisle some. And another tip for this particular ride is if you are scared of heights, don't ride it because you will probably be lifted maybe 20, 30 feet in the air while riding Soren. And for accessibility, you must transfer out of a wheelchair or ECV to be able to ride Sorum. So I think everybody should be able to ride this ride unless you have really big thighs or hips, which mine are pretty big and I don't have an issue. Um, I definitely try it. It's a fun ride. Next, I have Spaceship Earth. And this is basically that big ball you see in Epcot. And here's a look at the ride vehicle. Um, there's a small step up. I stepped in sideways because the door opening is maybe a little bit narrow, not too terribly narrow as some of them, but it's narrow. And then it's just typical bench seating. Um, as far as side by side seating goes, um, I think two smaller plus size adults could ride together, maybe 200 pound range. Uh, my size. Um, with my husband who is 250 pounds, I'm 300. We fit, but we're pretty squished. But I mean, being squished doesn't bother me as much as it may bother you or somebody else. Um, so just keep that in mind that if you are a bigger person, you may spill over into the other seat because technically there's kind of like a divider here. Um, which if that don't bother you, then not a big deal. Um, with a small child, you'd be absolutely fine, even as a larger plus size person. Um, and for accessibility concerns, you must transfer into a wheelchair 
and then to the ride vehicle. So no ECVs in the line. This is test track. And this ride is a lot of fun. It does go super fast, but definitely well worth it. There is a test seat on this ride, which is awesome. So if you have any concerns about fitting or want to practice how to fit or get in and out of the ride vehicle, the test seat is great. Just note that the test seat does have two across and the actual ride vehicle has three across. There's a seat belt. It is an extremely long seat belt. So if you want to actually buckle it before you sit down, you can definitely do that or you could sit on the edge of your seat and buckle it. Um, but it's not too bad when you're sitting all the way back to actually buckle it, at least for my size, I'm still able to do so. Um, I found the seats to be pretty roomy on this ride. I feel like you could sit um, definitely next to another plus-size person and be just fine on the ride. Um, there is a large step in and out of the vehicle. Just use what you can to brace yourself with the front of or back of the car and the seat to help you get in and out of the vehicle. And you must transfer from an ECV or wheelchair to the ride vehicle to be able to ride it. Now over in the World Showcase section of Epcot, this is Frozen Ever After, which is a very popular ride in Epcot. And this ride is accommodating for pretty much everybody. If you are tall, you may hit your head against uh, the seat in front of your head. I'm sorry, your knees against the seat in front of you. Um, maybe a little comfortable there. It is basic bench seating with no seat belts or anything. Um, there is a step, you have to step over into the vehicle to make that easier. I step on the seat and then down. Makes it a lot easier to get in and out. You have to transfer from an ECV or wheelchair into the ride vehicle in order to ride. But this ride is very accommodating for anybody of any size. But again, if you are tall, you may hit your knees on the seat in front of you. But other than that, you should be good to go. This is the Grand Fiesta Tour starring the Three Caballeros, which I hope I pronounced Caballeros right. If I did not, I apologize. Um, this is a boat ride. Um, the seating is a lot like Frozen Ever After, and if you are tall, you may hit your knees on the seat in front of you. Um, there's a step down into the vehicle. The best thing to do is step onto the seat and then step down. Um, no seat belts or anything, and it's standard bench seating. So, you know, your width or your size ain't going to affect you on this ride. So you'll definitely be able to ride. And this is for accessibility concerns. You must transfer into a wheelchair to ride this ride. Um, but yeah, everybody should be able to ride this ride, no problems. That pretty much concludes the rides at Epcot and Disney World. Um, in both Future World and the World Showcase sections of Epcot. Um, the only other things I didn't really talk about are stuff like animal exhibits, art galleries, um, interactive like games. That they have their um, move like movies shows they even have a scavenger hunt um, play areas for kids those are all pretty self-explanatory or they're accessible for everybody on um, what they are like a play area for kids and be geared towards kids you know gallery you know you can take your ECV, ECV wheelchair through there's nothing really to ride or concerned about fitting on everybody knows what theater seats look like or bench seating uh, for a show So nothing really to talk about much there uh, But I do hope you found this video helpful. I think every single one of these rides and Epcot is going to be pretty accommodating for almost everybody if not everybody um, But if you do have any more questions about a ride at Epcot or if I did somehow miss something 
and you wanted to know about that ride, please let me know in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, just subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and I'll keep making these types of videos in the future to um, hopefully help ease your fears about different theme parks, how they are for plus size riders. Again, Walt Disney World in general, any of the Disney parks, honestly, are very accommodating for plus size riders. Um, so that's one thing I do love about them. And thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.